today, say goodbye to Lisbon, and I'm heading south to Algarve. It's final morning in Lisbon. There's one last sight I might potentially see. Elevator, anyone? So this attraction was called the Santa Junta Lift. It's basically done by an apprentice of Gustav Eiffel, or even Eiffel himself, I can't remember, but you can see how it's inspired by him. The materials used and everything. Well, as you can see, we're basically on par with the height of the collapsed building I was at yesterday. So this platform, needless to say, is pretty damn high up. Got here around nine o'clock. It opens at seven and there was no line, but come 10 or 11 o'clock, there's always a line that starts to make about an hour wait. So if you're gonna see this thing and get some views of the city, get here in the morning. I guess the only downside is it's a bit cloudy, so you don't get the beautiful blue sky in the background. <laughs> actually closed. Don't judge me, don't judge me. All done breakfast, I got 15 minutes to get back to the hostel. I think I'm gonna take a walk down to the water one last time while I'm here. <laughs> Pretty clean, good beds, six person dorm, which is probably the most I'll ever sleep in. Unfortunately this morning it was the noisiest I've had it yet. It's a Japanese couple and they were so noisy getting their stuff out this morning. They were like packing at 7.30 in the morning. Man, do that shit the night before. The food from Mama was amazing. It's a good lively atmosphere. They have pub crawls every night. Central location, really safe. See a big M right there. I hope that's the correct stop. Yep, that's the one. Baja Chicago. I just need to hope that my Lisbon card still works and registers. Here we go, the moment of truth. Oh yeah, quick go, 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 go. I'm right here at the station. There's blue and green line crossing. I'm actually riding up, this is what they meant, Tel Harias. So I am riding up here and then I need to transfer at this red one, Alameda. And then I get to, not the aeroporto, Oriente right there. Always check your first stop so that you know you're in the right direction. Because if you need to bail out, bail out fast. <laughs> from pictures. I actually need to go up here for trains, but I've still got another two hours to sort of kill. Right behind me is the bus station. It's supposed to be like a cool state-of-the-art one. I might as well take some pictures of it while, I, while I'm here and I got time to kill. Let's go have a look. An hour until I need to get on the train, so I gotta get a quick bite. I just want four euros got me. I got like a fried chicken sandwich in here. Looks all right. Fries and a drink, not too bad. I'm not in the mood for a big meal before this train ride. Mm. That's pretty good. It looks like the buses and trains are up here. That's what I need, CP right there. 1402 Faro, IC 572. 
doesn't say proceed, but it leaves in 10 minutes, so I might as well just chill on the platform. <laughs> I paid the extra five bucks to get first class, so that means I'm in the front of the train. Look, they got a bar. in the door. Train number two, I'm heading from Chunez to Port de Mal. Unfortunately, it looks like when you get to Port de Mal, there's not many cabs available at the train station, so I forgot to send an Uber. It's only like four or six euros. Um, to get me downtown, which would save me the total walk would have been 42 minutes. This Uber is gonna get me there in 10. Well, I'm here in the Algarve. It's kind of a shitty start to it though. First up, they gave me the wrong address to pick up the keys at this hotel. Second of all, when I tried to call them to find out where the correct address is, my phone number doesn't work. Thirdly, when I finally googled like a 20th search result and found the correct address, got my key, started walking back, my ass felt wet. And I thought, what the hell is that? Sure enough, my water bottle exploded in my backpack, all over my laptop, all over my hard drive. Looks like a first initial test of them. That, uh, am I okay? Fingers crossed that there's no damage, but what a horrible start to this beautiful area of the world. So, I'm gonna relieve my annoyance by going to the beach. Not too cold. Such a refreshing dip. I love it. So that was just a quick beach session for me. I want to head out before it gets too dark. To that point out there. A bit of a walk, but I think I can do it. That's like the only site in town apparently. Traditional Portuguese dish. So filling. 